Hello everyone. In the previous sessions, we have seen how to use add data column activity and also we have seen how to use add data row activity to add columns as well as the rows to the data table. Now, in this session, we are going to use build data table activity. First of all, we'll see why we required build data table activity. If you see on my screen, I'm having some data of student name and class and respective marks in their subjects, correct? Now let us assume, you know, whenever I'm going to use read range activity, by default, it is coming as an output with this own schema like that, you know, where data table that we have given or else the data table, it will generate automatically with the schema of the same way which we have, right? Now, let us assume I don't want all the schema which we have on the data table. Let us assume student name, student class and respective subjects are there. But I don't want these subjects. How can I go ahead and I can build my own data table or, or my own schema? So there we are going to use build data table activity. Now, in this session, what we are going to do, we are going to be defining our own schema for the build data table. And after that, I will transfer the data from one data table to another data table. After that, I will use add data row to show you how we can add data dynamically. If you see in my previous sessions, I have used data row DR and after that I have given manually of zero and one and so on, right? I don't want to do like that. I want to use data row dynamically. I want to add the data row dynamically. And finally, I will show you the roll number that is auto increment. How can we go ahead and do that? All these things we will define in this single session. Let me switch to a post studio. I have already created a sequence with the name of build data table. In that, I'm just going to use Excel application scope and after that read range activity to read the data. And after that, once I read the data from the student marks, I'm going to store in the data table by using read range activity. What is the name of the data table? Var data table, all right? You can see over here. Okay, this is already exist, but don't worry that anyhow, the data row also, we are going to use it. Now, the next thing is that I'm having student name, class, and respective subject marks. I don't want all these things. I want to build my own schema from this VAR data table, right? Okay, first of all, we'll go for the build data table. We'll find this under programming, data table under, data table, we'll find build data table. Let me go ahead, let me drag and drop. First of all, we'll see the properties. We don't have any property except this output over here in the properties. But if you observe under the build table, you are having a data table. Let's click on that. Now, if you see the columns already, column one and column two is there. Let's go ahead, let me close this. I don't want to define their own. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to give my column names. Now, I'll give it as S name, that is student name. And the data type is uh, string. Okay, I'm not going to give any increment and after that I'm going to click on okay. Now I'm going to add one more thing. Just I'm going to give class and the uh, data type is integer. And here also I'm not going to give any auto increment while at the time of roll number I will go and give it to you. Okay, now going ahead and click on okay. Now I'm going to build my own schema over here. If you see the own schema, that schema having student name, S name with the string and the class that I'm having in 32. And I'm not going to give any values over here. Don't worry about that. Let us assume if you're having a starting student, how can you go ahead and add over the data? So I have seen so many videos also like that they have given some rows over here. Don't worry about that. Just I'm not going to give it as blank and I'm going to define as blank and I'm not going to give any values over here. And then I'm going to click on OK. Now, whatever the build data has came, I have to store in the some data table. I'm going to define the output table by clicking on Control K and then I'm going to give the name as output build data table. OK, now let me go ahead. Let me click on enter. Now you can see in the variables you will find output build data table. So which it will comes for the build data table, right? Now I have defined my own data, my own schema. Now, how can I go ahead and add the 
data to this build data table. Let's assume I want to add data rows. Okay, how can I go ahead and do that? By using add data row. That is, I have to do dynamically. If you see over here, I want to trans, uh, you know, I'm going to do that dynamically, right? Now, let me go, how can I go ahead and do that? I'm going to use for each. For each row in the sheet one, I'm going to add to the build data table. How can I go ahead and do that? What is the output for the read range? I'm having var data table. I'm going to use the same thing, var data table. Now, uh, for each and every row in the data table, I'm going to add to the row. And then I'm going to add this data by using add row. Before that, I'm going to use multiple assign because of I need to assign the value, right? Please watch the previous video. If you have any confusion about this add row, please watch my previous video. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to use a data row. So that's the reason I'm going to give data row over here and I have assigned a data row variable. And after that I have given where data, uh, data row is the variable type. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to use the same data row over here. So where I need to add this data row to the build data table, that is the output, right? So for that one, what I'm going to do, output, build data table, I want to add a new row. So this is all the .NET code actually. So this UA path has built on the .NET code. So it will be very useful to you if you have a basic idea about the .NET, how the data tables, data rows, and all these things happen. Okay, now I have initialized data row equal to for the output data output build data table dot new row so that what will happen every time it will add a new row for each and every loop okay now i'm going to use in the previous session we have used you know the indexing right now what i'm going to do i'm going to use uh, you know uh, on the names columns names basis now if you see i'm having s name right so I'm going to give it as is the S name over here. You can see in the uh, in the you know, build data table, you are having S name on the class. You have to give the same name over here, okay? So for the name, what is the, okay. So I'm going to give add name over here. What is the output? That is row of zero. Over here, I'm going to give, if you want to give the name also, you can give it over here name also like student name. What is the name that we have? You can see over here, the student name. You can go ahead and you can give it the name or zero. Okay, that is the starting dot to string. Okay, I'm going to add one more row. It's related to the class, right? Now I'm going to give it as row one dot two string. Okay. Now if you see all the things I'm going to assigning it. Now this value while looping it, I'm going to add to the add data row. Let me drag and drop this activity over here. Now I'm going to use data row, right? Dynamically I'm going to show. That's the reason the data row is data row over here. And what is the output? Uh, for which one that we want to add this data for the build output data table so that I'm going to use add data row as output build data table. Now, this is also one the way you can see over here, I'm having read range, I'm having where data table for the build data table, I'm having output data table. This is how you are going to transfer the data from one data table to another data table. Okay, now add row has been completed. Now what we are going to do, uh, I'm going to write the message. So after completion of this for each activity, I'm going to write write range over here. Okay. Now write range, I'm, I'm going to define sheet five, I, which I don't have. Okay. Let me go ahead. Let me give the sheet five. And then for the read range, I'm going to use add headers. And what is the input for this data, uh, right range activity? The output which we got it from the data table, right? Now, if you see by using for each activity, for each row activity, I have inserted the data into the build data table. The build data table output is output of 
build output build data table that is the input for the right range activity let me go ahead let me uh, you know give the data table over here now let me save the bot now let me run the bot now if you observe over here we don't have any sheet 5 over here it has been included now if you see that has been started from Amir, Teja and so on and Dev and all these things now if you observe all these values you can see Amir with the Dev till all the subjects have been came now you can under you can say why this one has been came over here with the blank the reason is that in the build data table we have given this rows now let me go ahead let me uh, you know I have deleted this blanks now let me click on OK now let me save it now once again I'm going to delete this entire data from the sheet file now let me go ahead let me run the bot now if you see the student file now you can you code the details right we don't have any space over here now I hope you understand how to use the build data table right now we are having one more activity that is roll number auto increment now how can I go ahead and do that auto increment now if I'm going to the build data table I'm going to add a new column okay that is roll number okay if you see I'm going to give the data type as integer in 32 and I'm going to give auto increment what is what will happen the auto increment will increase by one so it will start from zero one two three and so on okay now if you want that unique values we can use it later on now I'm going to click on OK and then I'm going to I'm not going to give any kind of values in the data table don't give any values because of you have to learn from the scratch right I'm going to click on OK now let me go ahead let me save the bot now let me go again to the sheet 5 I'm going to delete entire data now let me run the bot now if you observe in the sheet 5 if you see 0 1 2 3 and so on the roll number has been given incrementally now in which case that the value has been incremented now let us assume I want to start from 1000 okay 1000 or 2000 at that time you are going to add some values over here now let me give some data over here let I will say is test okay and I'm saying class as 5 and then I'm going to give it as triple 1 is the values now let me go ahead let me click on OK now once again I'm going to delete the data from the sheet now let me run the bot now if you see over here it has been started from triple 1 this is the test data and you can see 112113 auto increment has been happened this is how you are going to use build data table to define your own schema from the existing schema and also you can transfer the data from one data table to another table another data table by using build data table thank you for watching your past tutorials if you have any queries related to this concept please post them in the comment section i will see you in the next session till then bye bye have a nice day